Welcome to Mammoth Tutorials. Here we will show you how to edit reports in Mammoth Business Software. It is possible to edit and customize most reports to your preference using Mammoth's Report Editor. In this example, we want to edit the invoice report. What we want to do is the following. Remove the fields of Project and Department. Move fields. Change the name of a field. Amend the setting for automatic stretching of a field and move the remittance advice information slightly upwards. First we select View, Settings, Reports. Then we click on Report Label Editor. In this window we can choose the report we want to edit, in this instance Invoice. We then click Edit. First, we delete the fields of Project and Department. To do this, we select the two fields, Project and Department. We also want to highlight the fields just to the left of these fields. The boxes on the left are the actual descriptions of the fields, while the fields to the right display the values of the fields. We can select multiple fields by holding the Shift key on the keyboard before or while we click on the fields. We can remove the fields from the report by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. We now want to move the remaining fields a bit higher up to remove the empty space we have just created. We can select multiple fields by clicking and holding the mouse on the white field and then we can drag the mouse to the lower fields while still holding the left mouse button so that everything is selected. Once all the required fields have been selected we can repeatedly press the arrow keys on the keyboard, in this case the upward arrow. We now see that the fields move upwards. The next thing we are going to do is change the name of the field your reference to contact person. We double click the field to the left of where it says ref your. In the expression field we can enter the text that we want to output instead. Note that you must type it in speech marks. We now want to extend the field which outputs the regular text from the order so that we can write as much information into this field without finding that some of the text is cut off by the field being too short. To do this we double click on the field for memo order text. We then tick the stretch with overflow tick box so that the field on the report grows longer if required. Note that the setting can be ticked for all fields. Finally, we want to move the entire remittance part slightly upwards so that there is more space between the remittance section and the end of the page. These fields appear at the bottom of the page in the section called Page Footer. Since we would like the remittance to be a bit higher, we must begin by increasing the size of the page footer. It is the distance from the bottom of the page footer and up to the lowest field that determines the spacing between the bottom of the page and where the remittance fields are printed. We have now finished editing the report so we can click on the X to close the report. We answer yes to save changes. Next we click on close and then OK and then go into user settings. In this section we must set up the program to print from the company reports. It is only by using company reports that we can see the changes made to the report. We choose the settings per module tab and then reports. In the default report group section we choose company database reports. Click OK to save your changes. We will now print out an invoice to see how the changes appear. To do this, we go from the settings menu and into an invoice. We click on the invoice button and select invoice copy optional report. We select the invoice template, select preview and then click on OK. It is recommended that you print the invoice to paper to check that it fits with your paper output.
If you have made a number of unwanted changes and feel that you might want to retry editing the original report, it is possible to restore the version originally supplied by Mammoth. To do this, we exit the invoice screen and return to the report editor. We select Invoice and then click Import Report File. We then click on Import and OK. The report should now be reset. If you make a change to a report that you wish to copy to your other company databases, highlight the report and click on the Copy Company Database Report to All Other Company Databases button. We have now shown you how to edit reports in Mammoth. More tutorials can be found on our website.